just amazing. I mean, yeah. considering how close these speakers yeah. are and how close I am to them, it was really wall to wall. Yes. It's, it's probably even better than you heard at my house. The well, XTC. that particular track was it's pretty amazing. Yeah. All, the, all the credit goes to your brain. Because <laughs> your brain is actually getting, all I did is take, took out an artifice called Costa. And yeah. your, brain, your brain does the rest. It puts the image where, where it's supposed to be. It's very impressive. Stuff. I'm looking forward to uh, getting this yeah. in. So. Great. Great. It's very soon. Uh, who's next? So Doug's getting one too. Yeah. Okay. And uh, earlier today we listened to the first EDM track. I've never heard it before. Edgar just informed me about mm -hmm. this. Made in the 1950s, World Fair. Ah, you want me to play that? Yeah, if you, if you could play that <laughs> one. <laughs> it's trippy <laughs> and it's really mushrooms. cool. Yeah. <laughs> Right. And there'll be, I, I bet you, you can't Shazam that one. Let's see if you can Shazam this track because it's. Uh, that's the King's Singer. They do a lot of covers, really good covers. King's Singers, their whole album's really good. What was the purpose of the extreme left? It tracks, it just needs to give the parameters that it's going to track you. So you're not trying to get off axis listening or anything, it's just accumulating yeah. that. Basically, you tell it where you want to move. Okay, and okay. the maximum, so it can track you, because it, it needs to know what your ears are. Gotcha. So, so if you happen to move like this, you can do calibration left, as, as center left and right. Most mm -hmm. people want to sit down and not right, have they to lean on one side yeah. or the other. So most people, yeah, you know, they're going left and right. You can actually cover a whole couch. You can be left here, right here, and then anyways on the couch, it will find you, will put the speed spot there. Okay. Real quick, Edgar, did you bring headphones for the headphone demo? Actually, I didn't, but we can find that. Maybe after hours, yeah. you, you're going to want to see that part. Yeah. yeah, it's an add-on module, but that thing is freaky. Okay, so let's just play you. There we go. You want to play that piece? This piece was a, it's a historic piece. It's written by in in the uh, late '50s to commemorate um, the Belgian pavilion at the World Fair. The World Fair was in Brussels in, in Belgium. And then they hired the world's top architect called Corbusier, built a very impressive building. They put 300 speakers in it and commissioned the composer who was called Edgar Varese, is my namesake. He lived in mm -hmm. New York, he's French. And he was very far out, he did some incredible music. But that's, that's the first really electronic music piece that was ever composed seriously. Done all on tape using oscillators. Wow. And, uh, and it's, uh, it's uh, uh, damaged to stereo except it's, uh, it does very well through Bach. It gives a uh, kind of tribute to the fact that it was the first spatial electronic music ever performed. Wow. Right? It kept playing for weeks in that incredible building. Yeah. I, was sure had, uh, I had a friend <laughs> in college who actually memorized this piece. It's only eight minutes. Huh. And, you, why, and you get to see, you get to realize how crazy he is once you listen to the piece. Imagine someone singing that piece. Yes, yeah, try to spot, I'm, try to Shazam I'm, this. I'm this is, yeah. This is the find of the show so far in terms of uh, music. Is this uh, Kubas or Tidal? Or? Uh, yes, Kubas and Tidal. Oh, it's on Kubas? Okay, then yeah, it should be Shazam. Here you go.
That's pretty freaky. When I first started here, I thought somebody dropped something behind me. I was like, hey, come back. So, yeah, I'm just here. <laughs> it, there's only two speakers doing that. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah that is really neat. So what, listen to this one, Doug. This is one of my favorites. Yeah, it's not even binaural. It's, uh, it's the it's the Umaguma, which you said was one of the few albums you returned yeah. <laughs> back in the day. This is really impressive. Ask him. Where they're picking things up. Yeah, actually, there are people doing this. Uh, first, there are people using this uh, to treat people with PTSD. Yeah. They're actually mm -hmm. licensed uh, to combine through the audio. Uh, the FDA is actually sponsoring these studies um, mm -hmm. with uh, hallucinogenic uh, with the psychedelic drugs mm -hmm. like mushrooms mm -hmm. and RSD. And the government is paying for that way. Right? Mm -hmm. They combine through the audio mm -hmm. with LSD to treat people with PTSD. Mm -hmm. And people with uh, severe depression, but most of the and then the, the brain supposedly does something to relax and magic and so on. Awesome. And there's a speech language pathologist. So she, she, oh, you are my speech. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The brain uh, interacts pretty strongly with music. So, Doug, you heard those flies in your ear and all that? <laughs> yeah, some guy jumped at Yeah, it's right behind you, yeah. No surround sound. Here's a, here's a demonstration of depth, okay? If you close your eyes, you play someone, this is David Chesky. Walking. Yeah, walking towards you. Close your eyes. Yeah. And, uh, right. Oops, no, not to play this one. Here we go. It's in a very reverberant church. I'm walking up now, and once again, I can come up to the microphone and I can whisper into your ear like this. Only binaural technology can do this. Yeah, so you heard it. <laughs> Do you have uh, Amber Rubart's binaural? Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I was there at the recording, so I can tell yeah. you. This this track was recorded. Her husband was playing. I hear she's in the show, by the way. Yes. Yeah, yeah. tomorrow her, night. Her husband sure. was playing, uh, plucking the cello or the violin, I forget, and the other gentleman there, Chesky and I were sitting behind, and she's sitting right here, slightly to the left. You hear her slightly there. Okay, okay yeah. And, the, and that was a church in Brooklyn. Uh, it's a beautiful church, it's decommissioned. And we, we did a lot of these uh, recordings there, mm -hmm. and including this song. Let's play you. Everybody likes this song. You know, it's, it's classic. There you go. Okay. Yes. Kiss me. 
us, or are you doing the audio for the basic? The basic. Edgar, he's trying to order in the, 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 the 